Now we have a bonus question on absolute functions. The question here is, graph and solve absolute value of x square minus 4 absolute x plus 3 equals to 3. As you note, we have two absolute functions involved, one within the other, right? Do you see that? So one within the other. So that becomes slightly more tricky. Now in such questions, what you could do is you could rewrite this as two different equations. You could write this as absolute value of x squared minus uh, 4. When x is positive, it will be positive x. So, so let's write down the two conditions why we are doing this. When x is greater than or equal to 0, in that case, absolute value of x is equal to x. But if x is less than 0, then absolute value of x is equal to minus x. So that gives us two different equations, correct? So if I make it minus x, it becomes plus 4x. Plus 3, absolute value equals to 3. So that becomes one equation. If x is greater than or equal to 0, I could rewrite this as absolute value of x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals to 3. And now we can solve these two equations. They are also quadratic, may pause a lot of difficulty. And that actually may yield four different conditions. Okay, so you're looking for a massive solution here. Uh, here is an alternate approach, which I will say alternate approach. Method, okay. And that is to appreciate that this is an even function it is an even function. How do I know it? Okay, let's prove it first. Okay, so we'll try to prove that this function is an even function and we'll then take from there. Uh, so let me write this function as g of x is equal to. Uh, so we'll just consider the, the inside part. Is it okay? Inside part, which is x squared minus 4 absolute x plus 3. What is g of minus x? So if I replace x with minus x, I get this. Perfect. Now, square of negative is positive and uh, absolute value of negative is also positive. So we get uh, same thing, 4x plus 3. Is it okay? Or absolute value. Now this is exactly equal to g of x. Now, since g of minus x is equal to g of x, it means it is an even function. It does make sense, right? Now, what is the advantage? The advantage here is that they are symmetric about which axis? Y axis, correct? And that helps us how? Well, that helps us because if I'm trying to solve my function, I need to solve now only in one quadrant, and that is a reflection. Got it. So, so we'll only solve for x greater than or equal to 0 and get the other points as a reflected image. Does it make sense to you? So that means we have to do half the work. Correct? Okay. So let's at least do half the work now. So we'll solve this particular equation. Let me highlight this equation. We'll solve this equation. And from here, we'll get solution from the other equation. Correct? So we are going to solve the equation x squared minus 4x plus 3 absolute value is equal to plus 3. Does it make sense to you? Perfect. Now, you can factor inside. So the idea is we are looking for a graph. So so we'll factor and sketch this parabola. So we can write this as x minus 1 times x minus 3 equals to 3. Now that is a parabola. Uh, so it has zeros at 1 and, and uh, 3. So I could just sketch a parabola here first and then we'll discuss more about it. Okay, so let's work out this parabola. 
the absolute value will be what? Well, if I want to make the absolute value, let me use a different ink. Uh, so this is the inside part. This is the inside part only. Now I want to do the absolute part. I want to do this absolute part. That is to say, how will the graph of absolute function look like? Well, this negative part has to get reflected. That's how it's going to look like. And this is going to be overlapped. Correct. That's a good idea. We know this is zero, this is zero. What is this? One, what is this? So let's figure out these points. So point at x equals to zero, point at, this is one we know, this is three, so mid value is two. So what I will do now is, is on the other side, we'll figure out what is this value of g of x at zero. So if I write zero here, I get, I get uh, absolute value of zero square plus four times zero. Uh, sorry, this is minus, sorry, this is minus plus three, correct? And that is indeed equal to three. So this point is three for us. Good. So what is g of two? So if I substitute two here, I get two square minus four times two absolute value is positive, uh, plus 3. Now that is equal to, that is equals to, I mean, absolute value. Absolute value of 4 minus 8 plus 3, which is, uh, which is 4 minus 8 is minus 4, and minus 4, uh, 4 minus 8 is minus 4, minus 4 plus 1 is minus 1, which is 1. So this value is one for us, correct? So if I substitute two, which is the mid value, so two square is four and this is minus eight, so minus four plus three is minus one, so we get just one. And if I reflect it, I'll get one here, is it okay? Okay. Now, from symmetry, if I have three at zero, what do I expect this three to be? So if I draw a horizontal line, so I get a 3 here. What should this point be? Well, from the symmetry, parabola has axis here. This is axis of symmetry, right? x equals to 2 is axis of symmetry. Perfect. x equals to 2 is axis of symmetry. So 2 units here, that means at 4, I do expect a value of kind of 3, right? Let's see. So what we will do here is we'll just substitute three, I mean, I mean four here, and see what do we get. So if I substitute four here in this equation, I get four square minus four times four plus three, and that is sixteen minus minus sixteen plus three, which is three. So this value is also three. So this value is three. So from the graph, we if you do it on a graph paper, you can read it, right? So, so we can't read it, so we did all this table of values. Do you understand? So from the graph, we can write from graph for x greater than or equal to 0, we get two solutions. One is x equals to 0. The other one is x equals to 4. Is it okay? What are the other solutions? Well, the other solutions are from the symmetry, I could have gone to this side, kind of like this, and so, 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 I could have got my solution as, as what? So I'll reflect this part, does it make sense to you? And I'll extend this line, I'll extend this line, and the point where it will touch here will be minus four, correct? So from reflection, from reflection, I get minus 4 also. This is from symmetry. Do you understand this strategy, what I'm trying to say here? So now I write down my solution. So answer for this question is minus 4, 0, and 4. These are the values of x, which will satisfy the equation absolute value of x squared minus 4 absolute x plus 3 is definitely equal to 3. Do you see that? And that is how I'll provide the solution. 
I hope you find it interesting. We use different methods to solve different questions. Feel free to make suggestions, write your comments, and if you like and have subscribed, that'll be great for me. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.